Hey, today, guys, we're going to be looking at some cards that I picked up and also some other sourcing opportunities that are out there in the midst of what we have going on. So stick around. Hey guys, uh, welcome to the show. This is Eric, the OBX Picker. I do thank you guys for joining me today. We are going to be going over a few things. Uh, first of which is what sold. Um, actually, today's sales ha were quite a bit smaller than yesterday's. Uh, actually, almost 10 times smaller than what yesterday's were. But that's how it is in the reselling world. Ups and downs. Uh, the only thing we can control is what we can control, right? And the only thing I can control is the items that I'm listing that I already have in stock. So that's what we're going to be talking a little bit about today. But we'll get into what's sold. Uh, the first item we have going out is this. I uh, actually sold one of these yesterday as well. This is a Microsoft three, Xbox 360. This is just the hard drive, external hard drive. Connects right to the top of the old white 360s. Uh, this thing is going out, buy her all in for $12.48. So that'll be going out today. This is only a 20 gigabyte um, hard drive. And if you're looking at these things, it'll actually say right here on top. And the ones that say just HD, they are 20 gigabyte. If they're anything more than that, they'll actually uh, have on it what the gigabyte is. So um, there's like a 60 and an 80, I believe. Uh, the next item that we have going out, and the rest of it's just media, guys. Dragnet 1968 season. Uh, it has 10 episodes on it. This is sealed in the, in the package. This went out for $8.99 free shipping. So not a huge deal on that. Uh, both these items, this was actually in a big um, buy that I bought a bunch of video games, systems, consoles. So I've been parting out the uh, some of those Xbox 360s because if you are getting video games, honestly, like for me, I've had the least amount of luck with Xbox 360. Um, for me, they're just not that valuable, to be honest. And I mean, I'm talking about the old white ones now, not the slims, but the old white ones aren't as valuable and man, Red Ring of Death about half the time, to be honest, like if, on the older ones. So that's just uh, what I've ha found in my experience. Maybe you do better with them, but I personally don't do much. That Dragnet I picked up in a, a bulk buy of DVDs. So I'm actually selling through those pretty good. Uh, this next item is The Sims. Uh, this is Sims University and Sims Double Deluxe. Uh, this I sold in a, in a <clears throat> two pack or a two package lot, and they went out for nineteen thirty eight uh, free ship. The next item we have going out is this uh, the Sims I picked up from a local thrift. I think I paid a dollar a piece on those. Uh, the next item I got going out is this Ask This Old House. Um, and I'm trying to think where I got this thing from. I think I picked this up at a thrift store, to be honest. And I think I may have paid a couple bucks for this one. Uh, at any rate, this one sold for $23.49 uh, free shipping. So this thing is going out. It'll go out media mail. It's so about $3. So this is actually a nice little flip. If you see Ask This Old House out there, probably a good thing to pick up. I remember uh, the old show, This Old House, um, that used to come on PBS. So uh, that's the complete first season from 2004. But nice little flip on that. So all in all, today, hey guys, uh, we're at four sales, $64. So not nothing huge today. But like I said, yesterday was a big day, 400 and some dollars. So that'll uh, more than make up for today's sales. So kind of a slower day but all easy shipping items. So for me, honestly, all of those will go in uh, padded envelopes. Uh, the hard drive, I usually put quite a bit of bubble around it and still send it in a padded envelope because um, it's not much value there. And everything will ship out less than a pound. So 
that's what we got going on. And we'll get down to the... Okay, guys, so the next thing we have is the death-to-death -death pile. Um, just to update on that. So we are in day 27, three more days to go. Uh, and we have listed a total of 260 items out of my death pile. That doesn't include items that I picked up um, during the midst of this, like either through Facebook Marketplace or Retro Arbitrage, or I actually do have a couple little thrifts that have a little bit of stuff. And uh, I've sold a total of 28 items out of that death pile. We're still hanging over the 10% mark. So that's good. And now I promise you I was going to show you some things that I picked up. Um, these first set of items is actually things that came from, I have some people that I've gotten to know that actually, if they're, I don't know whether they're watching or not, but, uh, they do some picking in my area as well as other places. And they have a very, uh, unique eye for vintage, everything. Um, they pick up all kinds of vintage, whether it be clothing, whether it be, um, just, uh, electronics or other things so we i went and did a, a basically i got a facebook buy from those guys but they threw in some other stuff uh, once they saw that it was me they kind of hooked me up with some things and i paid some for some other things uh, the first item we have is this zenith um, this is it's funny like if you look at this real close this thing has a speaker and it actually goes out is this is kind of like original surround sound see the whole bottom stand is a speaker and it actually goes in every direction and this is actually a working unit it's really loud and that thing sells for about 25 bucks um, plus shipping so not a not a bad pickup on that then we also have let's see <laughs> this old steamer um, this is a travel valet steamer from GE uh, not a whole lot of value with that. I think around 10 bucks, uh, something like that, but it's cool. The next item we got is these uh, like card game score books, and they're old. Like most of them are pretty, like definitely vintage, probably 70s, 60s, maybe even 50s, some of them. Some of it's like bridge and I don't even know what some of that is. Canasta. I guess I'm saying that right. It's Canasta store, score pad. Um, so kind of cool. I don't even know what the value is on those. I haven't really looked them up yet. Um, there's a couple cool uh, lighters. I got these. Uh, these are Flamex lighters. Um, and there's two of them identical still in the packs. I think those things are about 10 bucks a piece. So those are cool little pickups. <laughs> an old school uh, Panasonic electric pencil sharpener. Not real sure on the value of that. It does have some stickers. Apparently this was used in somebody's school. Has some old school stickers on it. There was an original Atari controller and a couple Atari games. I mean, nothing super fantastic, but these were some that you would know about. Breakout and Missile Command. I played a sad hour of Missile Command when I was younger. The next things we have up is some vintage playing cards. Uh, these are cool with the parrots on them. And then also, um, <clears throat> this has, I guess, several card games that can be played with that. I'm probably gonna lot some of these up with the, uh, the bridge. And then these card cards as well. So we'll probably do that in a bulk lot. Um, depending on if any of those books are super valuable. Um, there's a couple board games that are vintage. Um, this Mastermind. There is Mastermind and Super Mastermind and Improved Mastermind. And I'm not, I've never played Mastermind. But I did look these things up. I think they're around 8 or $10 a piece. So I might could put them in a bulk too. They don't really weigh anything. Then we have... This old uh, little black and white TV. This is uh, trying to Montgomery Ward black and white television. 
So got one of those and then I believe there's another one here. Yeah, there's this other one. Now this is the uh, General Electric versions, the Space Maker. Um, this thing actually has a carry handle. So you can take that, I guess, for going. And this one has the radio as well. So I'm not quite sure the value of those. I hadn't looked them up yet, to be honest with you. Because I've been neck deep and <laughs> baseball basketball football cards uh, this is kind of cool a vintage uh, carrying case for cards this actually has a ton of cards in it nothing super fantastic in there that I know of um, the uh, there's a I think 91 Fleer I think that's what those are they have the puzzle card leaf 91 leaf cards is what those are this is a whole box of basketball baseball football then we have a couple more boxes this looks like football there's actually some 91 score cards that are sealed in the wax the whole thing of this is all 91 score cards uh, let's see This next one is another solid box of cards. And I believe these are mostly baseball in here, baseball cards. So a whole box of them rigs. Oh, and another big box. This box is slammed full as well. And then we have another box. So six full boxes of cards. And then in here we have stacks of cards in plastic. Um, there's some Ken Griffey's in here and like some other like more known Bo Jackson, Ricky Henderson, like some of those type cards in here. So it might be a little bit of value in some of those. Like nothing. Nothing crazy, crazy. Good. There's Daryl Green there. Uh, Tim, if you're watching, Daryl Green, buddy. <laughs> and then this has uh, actually a Gary Payton rookie card. And there's some other rookies from that same year. This guy, man, Reggie White. That's a pretty good card. Uh, Reggie White. That's his rookie year there with the Eagles as well. So, I mean, nothing, like I said, nothing crazy good with that. And then, man, I, like some of the rest of you guys, have kind of caught the fever, to be honest. I uh, picked up these cards from Walmart, and I actually went a little nuts. Uh, picked up a lot of football, basketball, mega box, hoping for some Patrick Mahomes, rookie cards, but I'm actually going to um, be looking through all those. This whole sack from Walmart, you can't see it, but it's about... pretty full so man today i'm gonna be opening some of them rigs up hopefully get something cool but that's what i got going on guys i do thank you for watching as always wish you good luck out there reselling if you're a reseller if you're just watching my channel for the entertainment i'm sorry no that's a joke um but do like and subscribe uh thank you guys for watching y'all have a great day